Okay, so now in this video, we are going to do a very interesting thing. We are going to solve riddles using the algebraic equations. So let us start one by one. So the first one says, go around a square, counting every corner, thrice and no more. Add the count to me to get exactly 34. Okay, now let us try to break this one by one. Go around the square, counting every corner. So we have to go around the square, counting the corners, and we have to do it thrice and no more. And then what we get, we need to add the count to me. Me is a number, and when I do that, we will get 34. So if we have a square, and we have how many corners? I start from corner 1. 2, 3 and 4. I will have 4 corners. If I go around the square 3 times counting this 4 corners, so it will be 4 times 3 gives me 12. 12. And then add the count to me. That's an unknown number which will give us exactly 34. So can I say that the equation, algebraic equation could be used here and we can say that 12 plus the unknown number n it gives us 34. Now we need to find out what value of n would be satisfying this equation. So this is a perfect example where we have taken up a riddle, converted it into an algebraic equation. Equation. And we will find out the solution to this algebraic equation which in turn is giving us a solution to this riddle. So now I want to find out what value of n would give me 34. Now one way to solve this is let's just try to get n over here. We just want n over here. So I want to remove this 12 from here somehow. Now since this is an equation, so can we do some operation on n here such that it just removes this 12. But because it is an equation, we have to do it on both the sides. That is the left hand side as well as the right hand side. So let us do one thing. If I do 12 plus n, what we will do is we will subtract 12 from both the left hand side and the right hand side because this is an equation. So 12 minus 12, these are cancelled out. So I have n and this will give me 34 minus 12, it gives me 22. So I get the solution to this riddle. The number n that we were looking for is 22. So n equals 22 would solve this equation. Which is nothing but this is the solution of our riddle. 